Hello and welcome back. Today we've got a 2024 Lance 975 truck camper. I'm going to zip around the outside as usual and then uh, start on the inside. Does have a powered rear awning. Um, backup camera hanging out up there. Um, lights, all that good stuff. Um, there is a armless censored awning up top here. It's also push button, roll it out, wind kicks up, it'll suck it back in, so don't have to forget about it. Uh, the rear one will stay out. This one does have a propane or a generator in it, excuse me. It does run off propane. Here are the little uh, step containers. You can kind of use them for storage or whatnots on them. Happy jacks, of course two 20 pound propane tanks with uh, the transfer switch down below just a little bit of storage you don't want to waste any space so use whatever you can use um, does have exterior speakers here you can see the exhaust fan roof vent so you know that the kitchen's vented as well um, quick access to uh, winterizing bypass valves water pump all that good stuff um, if you look in here Maybe I need to turn the light on, but you can kind of see the heating runs that they have here. You can kind of see the T's that they run. Also, this looks like it's the back of the bathroom, I'd have to say. And uh, right here, if I get my hand past the camera, you can kind of see how they plumb heat directly into these areas. So it's not just radiant heating. That ended, it pushes heat in actively as the furnace is running. And of course, that is what gets you to your four season status. I'm backing up just to kind of look at it. No swing out jack brackets on this one, so uh, you can run it without a dually. Of course, if you wanted to, you just add the swing outs and then the dually can handle it. Slide out toppers on it, of course. Vented fridge. Battery would go here. This thing's screaming at me right now. It's uh, needing repair, but it's still powering it with the solar panels on this overcast day, so I'm gonna keep running it. Down below, you got your tank poles, exterior shower, all that good stuff. Um, drains, you can kind of see that bubble astrofoil for uh, insulation. So that adds a bit to it. Um, the other thing I haven't opened up yet is this. I actually think this is a nifty little idea little pegboard in here you can add anything to hang it uh, just a little bit of uh, area there this takes an otherwise uh, wasted space and turns it into something useful for you I never show this but you do have a keypad entry doors are a little bit trickier to pull open sometimes move that up top I'll turn this bad boy and pull it out Again, no roller guides or anything, but it sounds actually kind of terrible, but it gives you extra storage space. So I'm going to run right into here. I suppose weight on this, if you need to see it fully loaded, 4138. So you're going to definitely make sure your truck can handle what it is you need to do. I've got light switches here. All sorts of uh, whatnots, key hanging switch, pull out garbage tray. That's actually kind of nifty. I like that. Coming on in. So coming on in here, we do have uh, under sink storage in here. It's where your garbage can would go in and out. Um, big deep sink again plastic this one's got some textures to it uh, at least visually gen set and everything is up here uh, truma control panels water tanks stereo more overhead storage over here same old microwave as they run every time and here's that exhaust fan we were talking about outside uh, solar charge controllers over here they do put a uh, 100 watt panel on it so plumbed for two you can always add another hundred after that you're uh, gonna have to do some more wiring well that is just nifty I was not expecting it to come out that way but I can see why it would all right and then you 
get more storage here. This is probably the most functional storage I've seen. Interesting way of holding it up. You don't have the infinite adjustable pieces, but I bet you that gets the job done. All right, turning around. Standard booth dinette that we've uh, come to know and love in these campers. Uh, if I'm going to look up a little bit, I've got this sun look vent open. Of course, you can close it off. The snaps for the cold weather package. Uh, the big fan with the rain sensor. So when it rains, it closes itself up. As uh, we learned in another one, those are our quick locks. That's essentially how it works. I would call that a travel lock. Again, really deep, deep, deep boots in here. This one's a little bit shorter. Must be some mechanicals on the back side. A battery, if I recall. There's a nifty little cork board over here. And again, 110 power, 12 volt USB. And then our fridge. This looks to be a gas and electric version. Pretty straightforward. Standard uh, camper fridges they've been doing for years. All right, turning around. You do get a television here. Of course, it's got the pull-out bracket, as we've seen everywhere. We're rocking on the 12 volt t television as well. A little bit of storage, magazine rack or whatnot. Moving on into the bathroom. Looks like we've got a dry bath. That's nice, power down below. Got that step up in the bathtub again. Again to accommodate the design of the camper. Pretty decent storage in there, although uh, if you put anything too big in, it's gonna fall over. So be careful. Nice little pull-out drawer. Towel rack over here. Some more storage, roof vent, little fan. Looks like we got a bathroom light right here. I can turn it on and it gets brighter. Um, I have stood in one of these before. I will do it again, but. Oops, take the toilet. So that folds out, gives you some shoulder room, as they say. My head is above this line, but I don't go into the ceiling or this rooftop bubble. And again, snaps for the winter covers. Uh, this will move up as we found in the other video we did, but it will get to a point where it hits. Although this one looks like it goes all the way up. So, that would mean... Yep. Just a little bit. It would fit. It would work. Again, these things I hit my elbows on. So, I, I don't know if it was me. I'd rather have the space. I'd pull those out. I understand that everyone's got my... Uh, same size, but we're all pretty good. Uh, I will sit on that toilet just so everyone can kind of see. Useful, again, my knee would hit the door if this door was closed. It's a little, a little tight, ideally. That's probably perfect. It doesn't even have to be open that far, just in there. All right, moving on. Sure, that was more information than you guys wanted to see. Uh, propane detectors down below, fused box, uh, stairway to heaven, as they say. You do have uh, really good, infinitely adjustable storage in here, and there's a lot of good space, so I have no complaints with that whatsoever. Hopping up into here. Looks like we've got TV plug-ins, little storage shelf up here, of course, heater vents. And I'm gonna lay on this bed a little bit. Nice big storage in here with hanging available. As always, the 110 power over here. Plenty of space down below. I've got the windows open, so that's kind of what it looks like. It's pretty bright in here, pretty decent. Uh, rolling over to the other side, you still get the drawer access. And I always talk about that headpiece right here, so that way your pillows don't fall down. I think it's a 
quite important. As long as I've got these here, this is what the screen will look like down. So, doesn't really do too much, but it'll keep the bugs out. And again, 12 volt and 110 power access. No television in here yet. I suspect you could probably put one in, being as it's plumbed for it. Otherwise, maybe just swing that one over, but I don't know that you'd see it land down. Looks like we got another one of those nifty handles here. It does have that sandpaper on it that I uh, showed you earlier. That we all kind of liked in the previous video. The AC, the King antenna, and again, just plenty of space. Uh, I think that's the last one in our lineup that, that I have to go over at the moment. Any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know.